Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly reading for March 25th to April 1st. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you this week, okay? We are going to pull out seven cards, a bunch of oracles. Wow, okay. Um, they're saying don't take any of that. All right, cool, we're not. So as I am doing this reading, we are walking into eclipse season March 25th. Uh, which is the first card for this reading is the lunar eclipse it is a full moon lunar eclipse in the sign of libra why is this important to you because eclipses affect everyone differently and you're going to want to look at your chart to see what house libra rules to see how this uh, full moon will impact you libra eclipse energy in general will have every single one of you asking relationship questions in your life um, am I attracting healthy relationships? What kind of relationship patterns do I have? Am I happy in my current relationship? Is it time to walk away? Am I ready to enter into a new relationship? All those, all those conversations, um, you know, or those thoughts will show up during this time. All right. Really interesting energy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Lots of fiery energy here. Okay. I am seeing something very The six of wands, success, victory, collaboration, 10 of pentacles. Okay. Well, let's just first, oh my God, I haven't even pulled out all the cards. I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. This is <laughs> amazing. Okay. This is you. You're the 10 of, you're the pentacles, right? Earth sign. And this is fire. We're in fire season right now, right? Airy season. You will be victorious in every single one of your business pursuits when you put your heart and soul into it. You understand that? Discipline, structure, routine, planning, strategy, manifesting. Be so committed that it becomes your reality, Taurus. This is amazing. I love, 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 love this for you on so many different levels. This is incredible. This is, I don't even think you can comprehend right now how big this is, but you got to put in the work. Okay. You have to. All right. Crazy energy here. Let's dive in to the rest of these cards. Dive into your reading. We start off with the King of Wands. I really like this during um, Aries season because the King of Wands is represented by a fire sign. King of Wands is very charismatic, very creative, a good leader, knows how to charm the pants off of people, knows how to make those business moves, okay? Some of you may have like an Aries rising or a Libra rising. You don't have to, um, but I am seeing this full moon in Libra be very important and impactful for you. You even got seventh house here. This is ruled by Libra, Venus energy. Your partnerships, business partnerships, your relationship partnerships, Anything that involves commitment or um, documentation, contracts, okay, those kinds of relationships. This in spiritual union agreement societies, like this is where we are seeing a illumination for you this week, okay? You're going to be very focused on building and cultivating the right types of relationships. With the three of wands, you are looking to the future. I think for a lot of you, this ex this experience that you've been going through right now has been asking you to really transform, but also cultivate balance in your life, right? No more extremes. For example, what could that look like in real life for some of you? Um, maybe some of you were stay-at-home moms and all you ever did was take care of your kids and take care of the house, and now you're venturing off into the workforce, or vice versa. All you ever did was work, 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 and now you're learning how to practice more stillness to stay more rooted and grounded at home. Maybe some of you always give, give, give to others, but you don't give to yourself. So you're learning now to create more self-love, be a little bit selfish. And during Aries season, it's the best time to be selfish, not in a way that hurts others, but in a way where you're filling your own cup. If my cup is empty, like it is right now, how can I give you water? I got nothing. Now I really got nothing, right? I've given you my last little drop. I've got nothing. What am I going to drink? nothing. You have to always make sure that your cup is full. Okay. That is the message for this week. And funny enough, temperance has the two cups balancing more balance here. You know, I really, before I dive rest into your tarot, I really want to talk about this card here because I think there's a lot of messages to be received with this card. Child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Tune in Taurus, tune into your higher self, tune into your emotions, tune into your feelings, tune into the truth. Stop thinking about being performative to be received well. 
You're ruled by Venus. Be yourself and people will naturally gravitate to you. Be fake and people will see that shit in a heartbeat, especially during um, eclipse season, okay? Now, with the temperance card of the Ten of Cups, keep creating that alchemy, that balance in your life because you will feel very, very fulfilled this week. You will find a lot of joy, happiness in your home, in your personal life, if you're in a relationship, in your relationships, okay? There is a lot of understanding here around what you require in a healthy relationship. And if you don't have that right now, it's going to um, really show up in the connections that you do have romantically in business. Like you're going to really start seeing where it's out of balance. And you're going to have to make a choice whether or not you're going to stay in this or you're going to walk away. Big decisions to make there. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. I love this because... More of your earthy energy with the fire energy and sprinkling in a little bit of thought and mental agility here. This is like you planting the seeds for your manifestations, getting clear, getting specific on what brings fulfillment, joy, happiness, and clarity to you. And then eight of wands going and manifesting it. This is the beautiful recipe here for manifesting your dream life, for becoming a money magnet in your life. Prosperity potential, get clear on your astrology prosperity keys on your gifts to the universe, clear those blockages, do abundance activation techniques, start creating a plan for abundance, spirituality and wealth, alignment in your mindset, in your life. How can you attract effortlessly? And all of a sudden you start attracting cash flow with ease into your life. This is long-term planning. This isn't like, you know, on TikTok, you see those videos where they're like, manifest $5,000 fast, but then like, then what? Right, then what? You're going to every day be manifesting $5,000 fast. You know that that's unrealistic and so do I. So that beautiful Taurus pragmatism, that, that ability to plant all those little seeds, nurture all of them and let them grow so you can become a multimillionaire. That's the vibe we have here. Uh, and <laughs> don't forget, don't forget, you had this. You had this, right? This is your energy right here. Yes, that abundance is yours, okay? Let's dive into your love reading. For those that want to learn how to manifest money, become money magnets in, in your life, for those of you that want to align your life, transform your life, or you want to revolutionize your life, take a look at the description box below, including my tarot certification. All my courses are down there. Ditto to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, my free mailing list, okay? Beautiful energy here with the unrequited love. Love yourself first. Raven's going crazy too. So codependency. Woo. Oh, calling yourself. Beautiful. Oh, and Vulcan. I think somebody from the past is going to try and come back. I've got a feeling somebody from the past is going to try and come back. And this is where the growth happens, where you turn around and you tune into this Vulcan energy, passion, vigor, vitality, energy. And you're like, no, nope. No, you are not passionate. You don't love me. You don't respect me. You don't honor me. I'm not taking you back. Let's see this unrequited love here. One card, please, for unrequited love. No, one card, I said. One card. Hanged man. Yeah, I think you're done with this connection. I think, especially with that Libra full moon happening, you're realizing and recognizing a tower. Love yourself first. You're like, I am focusing on me. I am not dealing with your trash. Some of you could have been involved in a third party situation. This person could have been uh, che cheating on you, uh, talking to other women or men behind your back, codependency. And in the past, you would take them back, hoping that they would respect you and honor you for Pentacle, uh, four of swords. And now you're like, no, I'm not taking you back. I'm focusing on my money. I'm focusing on my abundance. I'm focusing on my wealth. I'm focusing on my success. That's it. That's all. And that's the best vibe to be in Taurus because that is how you begin to be in a state of ease, bliss, and how you attract effortlessly. Here is this video to help you out. If you want to book a session, join my school and take any of my courses, follow me on Instagram, mailing list, all that jazz. It's in the description box below. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and for all your support. We will see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.